The objective of this topic is to be able to properly adjust gas metal arc welding equipment and to produce a quality weld bead on aluminum sheet when a written procedure is not available. The materials required for this exercise include 125 thousandths inch thick aluminum sheet, 35 thousandths inch diameter ER4043 electrode, and welding grade argon shielding gas. The equipment requirements are a constant voltage power source with a constant speed wire feeder, protective clothing, gloves, and helmet with the proper lens shade, and a stainless steel wire brush, wire cutters, and pliers. The machine settings are direct current electrode positive, or reverse polarity, an amperage setting of 110 to 120 amps, a voltage setting of 19 to 21, a gas flow rate of 30 cubic feet per hour, and an electrode wire stick out of one quarter to one half inch measured from the contact tube to the end of the electrode. Correct machine settings can best be obtained by adjusting the voltage setting low in relation to the amperage and making test welds. The volts are then gradually increased while making additional test beads until the desired weld is produced. To begin this exercise, adjust the amperage setting to the desired range of 110 to 120. However, set the voltage low at 17 and gradually increase this setting to the desired range. The test welds for this exercise will be made on a flat plate. Position the gun with a 90 degree work angle and a 20 to 30 degree push travel angle. Begin the weld at the end of the plate. The nozzle should be positioned one half inch above the plate. Start the arc and move evenly along, keeping the stick out between one quarter and one half inch. Do not hesitate while moving. The low voltage setting will produce a short circuiting transfer which gives off a harsh crackling sound. The bead should appear rough and uneven with excessive spatter. There may also be porosity and lack of fusion with the plate surface. Now, increase the voltage setting by one half volt and make another test weld. The same 90 degree work angle and 20 to 30 degree push travel angle will be used. Start the arc and listen for the crackling sound. It should be less frequent and not as harsh. The finished weld, although smoother in appearance, may still show lack of fusion and excessive spatter. If so, increase the voltage by another half volt and make an additional test weld. At the correct setting, the metal transfer will be primarily a spray. Since the wire will be melting off slightly above the puddle, the arc should be smooth with only an occasional short circuit. A proper weld bead should be a quarter inch wide and slightly convex with smooth edges, no undercut, and have good fusion into the base metal. A white band should appear on each side of the weld, indicating that the oxide coating on the aluminum has been properly cleaned off by the ionized shielding gas. If the weld does not meet the desired requirements, increase the voltage yet another half volt and make a test weld in the same manner as before. If the voltage is too high, the welder will hear a humming sound. Excessive voltage produces a weld bead with a highly convex face and poor fusion. When the voltage setting is too high, the electrode wire melts off too close to the contact tube. When extremely high, 
the wire may burn back and stick to the contact tube. Burn back usually ruins the contact tube, which must be repaired or replaced. Weld two stringer beads per plate until you are familiar with the correct procedure for adjusting the equipment. Be sure to set the piece aside to cool before depositing the second bead or overheating will cause a wide, flat, over-penetrated bead, even at correct amperage and voltage settings. Inspect the welds, and then continue practice. <laughs>